Kirby, don't lose that sweatshirt. <laughs> Let's make sure that gets on with us. Um, man, what a blessing. I, this is wild. When I walked in and I knew this would be an awesome environment, I didn't expect to see all the familiar faces. This is, it feels like a family reunion. It really does. Um, and, I, and I'm not so sure I shouldn't just sit down and let Norrence talk for the rest of the time. That's some juice. Um, and I, I just want to start with this because I've got a chance to spend a few days with them. And these guys down here have waited through one of the worst um, waiting periods to, to get a new head coach. And I wanted to tell you guys how much I love you and how much I appreciate you being patient. No, I mean this. Because God's called us all to something. And I know that our purpose is to pour our hearts into you guys every single day. And we love winning, don't we? We love winning. But the only way you can truly win is if you love people with all your heart. And I believe that. And these guys have been tremendous in the few short days and people can talk about hey you make all these plans and I told them we felt like this was an order and I have to give a, a shout out to uh, the UNT basketball team and obviously you saw the success of the NIT but I told these guys when I first met with them that I felt like you, you can't have a divided heart you have to pour your whole heart into it and the administration there, Dr. Smatras, Ren Baker, Jared Mosley, our staff, Ross Hodge, Maddie B, AC. We just had a, a great group that believed in each other. But I walked into the locker room with these guys on Friday and I told them that I will give them my whole heart. And I wanted them to, to find what they, what they love and what they want to do. And when they find that, we'll be able to love and win here at Texas Tech. So if you would bear with me, but I, I, I genuinely wanted to start with these guys because I love you and I can't wait for this journey that will end hopefully on this night very soon. We'll get to that in just a second. But first of all, I wanted to tell uh, President Skuvenek, Kirby Hocutt, how thankful I am for this opportunity. You can see the passion and love for this unbelievable university through this process. But honestly, I've always followed and loved it. And when we got to this process, when I walked in the room, and got a chance to give the biggest bro hug to Coach McGuire. That was violent. That had some juice to it. And then, obviously, my first step into the Womble, and I got to meet Dusty Womble, I realized that we have the absolute best basketball facilities in the country. And we do. And then to hang out with Norrence. And Norrence was giving me a hard time, I'm not gonna lie to you. He was grilling me because you could see the love that he has for Texas Tech basketball. And I knew this was important to him and I knew if, if I had to answer to anybody, it was gonna be Norrence and I wasn't gonna screw this up. So it was such a blessing to go through the process because more than anything, what stood out is we're here to win championships. And the people are the difference. We have great facilities, but the love of the Red Raiders is the difference. So I want to introduce a few people. If you'll hang in there with me for a second. My family's here. And this um, is a family. And it will be for all of us. And I see several family members here that aren't sitting down here that we have done life with that brings me great joy. But I first want to introduce my mom and my dad down here, uh, Roger and Linda McCaslin. Uh, 
My mom's the toughest person I know, fact. And my dad has been to every practice for the past six years. Yeah. And you should really applaud him because he hasn't tried to coach our team. That's even more applause. But the blessing of this, he's 100% he's excited and a little bit sad because everybody at all of our practice waves to Papa Mac. So, Dad, I love you, and you can come to any practice anytime. Also, I have my mother-in-law and father-in-law, Bill and Randa Dillon, who love to yell at refs, so they'll fit right in here in Lubbock. I don't cuss at refs, but maybe he does. Um, and then my brother here, uh, Jeremy, I've got another brother, Josh, and his family, and my sister, Katie, is here with her daughter, Josie. They got two twins, so let's give them a round of applause. And then, and then you met my crew when they were up here on stage. Uh, Amaris is back in college. She had a test today. She's, she's way smarter than me. I'm so proud of her for not skipping a test, kind of. Um, my son, Jet, my daughter, Jersey, and my son, Beckett. But the real reason I'm standing here with you today is because of my amazing wife. And y'all know this. This is the truth. And I'm going to give you a little story. I'm going to tell two stories. They said I have 15 minutes. I don't know if that's going to actually happen. So if anybody wants to put me on the clock, good luck. Um, but I, I, I do want to say this. When I finish playing, fellas, don't go look at my stats. Because I watched more than I played. But when I finished playing, CeCe and I had actually gone to rival high schools in Irving. And we went to two proms in the same limo with different people. Did you get that? And when we were playing in the Big 12 against each other, I would go watch her play soccer. She would come watch us play basketball. And when I got done playing, I intentionally called Coach Brashear, who was on staff for Coach Dickey, and begged him to work camp. And he thought I was begging him to work camp so I could be a part of the basketball stuff, but really I was begging him to work camp so I could come see her. And two years later, we got married in 2001. But I am so thankful because Coach Dickey offered me the opportunity that forever has changed my life and given me a direction and hope that I could only imagine. And he paid me $9,000 to do it. And I paid for school with that too. So there's a part of this West Texas and we lived in Midland and I've driven, I've driven a bus of junior college players all over West Texas. So there's not a town I haven't seen and I'm not so sure it was very safe because reading a stats, as you know, reading a stats and eating McDonald's and driving the bus after a loss in Borger, Texas probably isn't real safe. But the blessing is we won more games than we won. And that opportunity of being at Midland Junior College in 2007 has shaped who I am today. We absolutely love West Texas. Y'all know we flew in on Friday, right? Why are you laughing? We flew on Friday and Bradley was like, sorry about the, you know, whatever they want to say. And you know what I said? I would have not recognized the place if it wasn't for that. If you love it, you love it. Would you agree with me? You love it. Because there's a grit that you got to have and a love and a passion that's real. So at, at, at Midland, I have to thank a few people. Ron Jones gave me the first opportunity. Coach Shannon Hayes was the head coach. I was his assistant. I got the opportunity with Forrest Allen. And my first year as a head coach in junior college, I told these guys this. We went to the national tournament and I thought it was great. We beat the number one team in the country in the first round and the second round we got beat on a tip dunk at the buzzer. And that moment changed my life because I said one thing, we'll never play for anything other than a national championship. So 
So with that expectation in mind, that began the journey. And two years later, in 2007, 25 years from the first national championship with Spud Webb and Mookie Blaylock, we won a national championship. And that started a, an unreal journey of believing the end at the beginning. And that's why when we talked, we had a lot of dates we were looking at. And I asked them for this date. Do you know why? Because I believe we can win a national championship at Texas Tech University. I got the opportunity to work with some great people. Scott Drew, Jerome Tang, Paul Mills, who was there on staff. It was a beautiful journey to go with them on, and some of you know those names, and some of those will be excited to play. But believing, giving, and competing is what we'll do every day here at Texas Tech. This is the toughest environment in all of college basketball. And we believe that the toughest team wins. Yeah. And if, and if we expect to play hard every day like you would hope us to, believe, give, and compete, one thing that will happen in, in the United Supermarkets Markets Arena is we're going to have the wildest student section in all of college basketball. And I, and I got to give some thanks because I see Coach Myers there and I got an opportunity to see this place grow into something that's remarkable. Coach Smith, the Knight family, and Chris Beard and Mark Adams, and I, and I mean this sincerely, those guys have poured their hearts into Lubbock and Texas Tech. And I have so much respect for this building on game day and what you all have poured your hearts into. And I want to help us bring a national championship to Texas Tech. And my question is to the students. We got to have a celebration when we win these games here. I haven't crowd surfed in my life. That's, that, this will be a first, but I'm tempted to, to stage dive into the student section and crowd surf after wins. Do you guys have a better option? No. You'll take it? All right, I love it. Because that, and, and you, you all know this, and there's been such a significant investment in this, but that's the part that I love. And that's the part that I hope to build and hope to be a part of what you've already built in this, in this beautiful arena is a championship. And I commit to pouring my whole heart into making that happen. Wreck them. Thank you all for being with us. Our best days are, are yet ahead of us for Texas Tech basketball. We look forward to celebrating many victories with you all in this arena. I know Coach McCaslin is going to meet with the members of the media uh, in the media room in just a minute. And I think it's tradition. We are going to finish with the Matador song. <laughs>